Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation. Not just any polynomial equation, but a nonic polynomial equation because of the degree 9. We have x equals 10 minus the quantity 10 minus x cubed to the third power. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods, even though the first method will not be complete. And you'll see why in a little bit. So let's start talking about first method. So for, uh, for my first method, I want to just go ahead and expand everything. And to keep a long story short, if you do that, you're going to get the following. So you'll get this nonic equation. And then you're like, uh-oh, we have to use the nonic formula. But it does not exist. Too bad. So we have to do something else. Let's go ahead and talk about it. The second method. The name of the second method is substitution to the rescue. So let's rewrite the original problem. And we're going to go ahead and replace 10 minus x cubed with something. How about y? If you call that y, we're basically saying that y equals 10 minus x cubed. But at the same time, we're also saying x equals 10 minus y cubed. And this is amazing. Why? Because this is a really nice system. That's good enough, right? So we can solve this system. How? By way of subtraction. So let's go ahead and subtract these equations. y minus x equals 10 minus x cubed minus 10 minus y cubed. y minus x equals 10 cancels out. We end up with negative x cubed plus y cubed or y cubed minus x cubed. Now, y cubed minus x cubed is factorable by difference of two cubes, right? Let's go ahead and do it. y minus x times y squared plus yx plus x squared. Now we can go ahead and cancel out the y minus x, but that's not going to be good. You don't want to do that if you're solving an equation and you have variable terms on both sides, even though they're the same, you do not want to simplify them. You don't want, you don't want to cancel out. Why? Because you will lose some of the valid solutions. You may lose some of the valid solutions. In this case, we're talking about y minus x. So what should we do instead? Let's put everything on the same side. y minus x, y squared plus yx plus x squared minus y minus x equals 0. And then you can just go ahead and put a little 1 here so that, you know, there's a common factor. And it is going to be, is going to be y minus x. Let's take out y minus x. We get y squared plus yx plus x squared minus 1 equals 0. Now, you always, almost always want to get 0 on one side of the equation. And now we have this product equal to 0. So y minus x equals 0 gives us y equals x. You could also do the following, like consider the case where y minus x equals 0 and then write it down and then cancel out y minus x assuming that y does not equal x and then solve for the other solutions. You can also do that. Some people will, people will do that. Anyways, we got y equals x, which is, you know, very powerful. But what is y? Let's go back. y is equal to 10 minus x cubed. So let's go ahead and back substitute. y is 10 minus x cubed. So we get this. This is a cubic equation. Let's put the x terms on the same side and flip. And we get x cubed plus x equals 10. So this is nice because I can guess x equals 2. Yay. Okay. When the solution is an integer, it's fairly easy to do. If it's a rational number, you can use rational root theorem or I don't know. You can just guess and check sometimes. So knowing that x equals 2 is a solution, the factor theorem tells us x minus 2 is a factor. So using that we can go ahead and factor this expression. Which expression? x cubed plus x equals 10. Or I'm going to write it as minus 10. And then I'm going to set it 
equal to zero. Okay, so let's start with that. Zero equals this. By the way, I don't know why this is happening with Desmos sometimes. It's just acting weird. So we have the following. How do we solve this, right? So we know x minus 2 is a factor. Let's go ahead and uh, rewrite this, uh, considering the fact that x minus 2 is a factor. So I, one of the things I can do, and I, there's two ways to go about it, as far as I know. The first method is, since x minus 2 is a factor, uh, x cubed minus 8 contains x minus 2. And I, if I just add x minus 2 to this, which also contains x minus 2, then I'll get the same sum. Right? It's not a coincidence because I know this is divisible by x minus 2. So polynomials. Anyway, so this is factorable by difference of two cubes. So x minus 2 times x squared. Uh oh, please don't do this to me. x minus 2, x squared plus 2x plus 4. And then plus x minus 2 times 1. And now we can go ahead and take out x minus 2. And then we get x squared plus 2x plus 5. 4 plus 1 is 5. And this is equal to 0. And we already know x equals 2 is a solution. So let's go ahead and focus on the other one. x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. And this has non-real complex solutions. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared 4 minus 20, which is negative 16. Awesome. That is a negative perfect square, and that can be written as negative 2 plus minus 4i, because 4i times 4i is 16i squared, which is negative 16. And we can divide everything in the numerator by 2, and we get x equals negative 1 plus minus 2i. Along with x equals 2, that gives us three solutions, one of them being real, non-complex. Okay, what about the other factor? Let me tell you. Again, to keep a long story short, this gives you non-real solutions, but, you know, that's going to be a six-degree equation. I don't, there's no formula, not even for quintic. Anyways, those can be found through Wolfram Alpha, but at the end, we will have eight complex non-real roots and one real root for this equation. Now, I didn't want to, I don't have a graph for this function, because its graph is, it doesn't look good at all. Uh, I kept zooming out on Desmos and all, all I got was pretty much like a vertical line. It almost looked like a straight line. I'm pretty sure it's going to curve somewhere, but that's going to take forever. And I don't really want to, you know, take that long. But anyways, x equals 2 is the real integer solution. We have other solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in a little bit with another video, not tomorrow. Uh, until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.